Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video we're going to speak about the sync thing and how you can install the sync tracer on Windows 10 and how you can back up your files. So we will prepare this video about how you can select the folder you want to back up and then in the, in the, some next videos I will show how you can uh, just synchronize it for your servers on your sync thing servers. So in this case I will create a folder. It's only allowed to to sending files out and uh, that's what we're gonna do today and thank you to have you here and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner below and press the thing then you will subscribe my channel if you have questions about me about this video about anything then let me know I'll try to answer you if I know that thank you so much and uh, hope to stay with the full video so let's begin the first we're gonna do is uh, going for the downloads page and then we just say sync tracer and then we're going for the github and scrolling a little bit down here and you can see we have different versions the version you want to, to have should be the sync tracer 64-bit uh, this will be installed and will not be portable uh, if you have this one it will be portable you can put it on the USB stick and something like that but uh, when you want to back up on your desktop machine I will recommend the installed version when it's installed, download, sorry, then we just open it. And then you are allowed to say yes here. And I'll just minimize this one. And we accept. And where should be installed? And that's fine. No desktop. And we want to install it. When it's installed, it's uh, recommended to launch the sync tracer and that's what we're gonna do and when it's launched you can see the little blue icon down below here and it asks about it's allowed to add it to the firewall and we add it to the both uh, private networks and the public networks uh, in the firewall so we are sure it's, it's working First time you install this one, it will ask about do you allow anonymous using reporting, and you say no. I'm personally I'm not interested to sharing data with the third part, uh, not because I'm thinking they're uh, lying about this anonymous, but it's just me. I don't like it. And uh, you can see I have a little older version because we downloaded on GitHub but it's automatically upgrading so you can see it's down below here so we're just waiting until it is, uh, it's it's uh, restarting when it's restarting you will see this message about uh, we don't have uh, any username and password so let's click on the settings and go in for the GUI I'll just set it to admin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 just for testing purpose and saving and everything here it's good to go now we basically have the sync things here in the in the bottom here. So let's just for fun close it down, and you can see it's running here. So you have all the logs about what is going on and, and everything here. And um, let's create the folder. You can see we have the MSN uh, user C user MSN. That's my user. MSN. That's fine. So I'll say my Paris backup file testing that's my filing and you can see the folder will be the same but the folder id is will not be changed so just leave it that's fine it doesn't matter and just click uh, on advance and we only want to send files out and we don't have any shared devices so that's fine so that's what we're gonna do and now we are good to go and congratulations you have your first uh, same thing, uh, same tracer installed on your Windows machine and you are ready for the next videos about how we can uh, synchronize your files we're gonna do. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to stay here. I really hope you want to subscribe. Go in for the button in the, in the right corner, click on the thing, then you subscribe my channel. And uh, I really hope you want to like and share this video. If you have any questions about this video, about me, about anything, then please let me know and push on the comments. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.